Turks and Caicos Island Tourist Board is happy to host the Peter Greenberg Worldwide Travel Radio Program, which will broadcast live from our islands tomorrow, Saturday, February 2nd, from Grace Bay Club. Mr. Greenberg is described as a preeminent American travel expert, and in addition to acting as host of Peter Greenberg Worldwide, he has a column on MSNBC.com, and he is the travel correspondent for the Today Show on NBC. The Peter Greenberg Worldwide is the most popular travel radio program and syndicated radio show in the world, airing on XM Satellite Radio, in addition to 146 stations across the U.S., reaching an audience of 7 million listeners. So what will happen during that broadcast? Mr. Greenberg will feature fishing and fishermen, boaters, chefs, our exquisite properties, tourist board executives, and even I will get a chance to talk up the TCI. The two-hour show will start at 10 a.m. An old station got a new look and new injection of fresh ideas over the Christmas, and now they are officially launching the new WATR 88 Jams. WIV caught up with owner Arnold Ewing. They are calling the party the biggest on the planet, the power of jams. Two jams named stations, 100 jams from Nassau, Bahamas, and 99 jams from Miami, Florida, are here for the weekend and joining the new 88 jams for its official launch Saturday, February 2nd at the Williams Auditorium. WIV4 talked to the owner, who said 88.7 FM needed new energy, and so he brought on a new management team in November 2007. Arnold Ewing says he is impressed. There is a new name, a new look, a new sound, adding the future of the radio station is looking bright. Oh, very good, uh, very good. I, um, I brought in this um, management team to manage it for me, and they did, did a, they doing a tremendous job at it. The station did a 360, I must say. It's, it's, when I stepped in it the first time, I, I thought I was somewhere else. You know, I never thought it could have been like this. You know, the, I, it's just incredible what they did to it. Ewing reflected on the beginnings of what was once WDDR 88.7 FM and how adding people like Mr. Graham and Tico T and events and concerts promoters above the rim productions have modernized the broadcast station. Um, I bought it because I was into music. I was a young DJ at the time. I liked music. Um, I heard a rumor that um, the radio station, which was WPRT, was for sale. Um, I went and looked for Joe Hall, he was the owner at the time, and basically I sat him down and I tell him I wanted to buy. He looked at me and laughed. I said, I'm serious. He said, okay. He gave me the price. I said, no, I think it was a little bit too high. So me and him strike a deal, the deal worked out. Ten days from then, I owned the station. Over the years, um, um, when I first bought the station from Joe, uh, from Joe um, there was, um, you know, the music lineup I changed a little bit, which was um, R&B, Calypso, and Reggae. Not that hard Reggae, I don't like it. Uh, it was just nice, mild music that, that, that we are young and old people could, uh, you know, listen to. On Sundays, I dedicate the whole of Sunday, from the time I bought the station, mm -hmm. to, to gospel. Three years ago, I started the, the Creole show where I had, um, in the evening time, there was um, Spanish. We had a Spanish show. We had um, Creole shows. You know, we had a lot of different shows. There is another first as this launch party will mark the first time reggae artist Collie Buds performs in the Turks and Caicos. And it also features big name music DJs like DJ Fines. This is a ticketed event and Ewing says he is excited. I really feel this, this week this, the launch is going to revive the station. The Power of Jam's official launch party starts at 10 p.m. at the Williams Auditorium. Residents are also looking forward to seeing radio personalities like Big Lip Bandit, Super Cindy, Dion the Butcher, and Terrible T at that show tomorrow night.